Hello, welcome to today's session where we are doing a special review of our anatomy textbooks. So possibly you are in the middle of studying anatomy and you're wondering which books do I go to or which one is the best? Trust you me, there are so many books of anatomy in the libraries and if you're to start reading them, you might never finish them. So what I've done, I've drawn a collection of books that I recommend to students who are in this process of studying anatomy that can actually help them make their anatomy reading easy. So don't get me wrong, these are not like my favorite or they could be, they might not be everyone's favorite, but I thought it's good to share, you never know. So I've not organized them in terms of which is the best or which is the worst, but I'm just reviewing them as a way of helping you so that you may be able to know what to start on or how to understand anatomy better. So let's delve in, please stick till the end. All right, so let's start with this first book. It's called Anatomy and Physiology in Health and Illness. It's written by Rose and Wilson. I think this is the most read book by student. One thing I know about this book is it's a very simple and then um, it has organized its work in terms of systemic anatomy that's the other thing about it is very nice does it in systemic approaches it's really looking in two ways so the beauty of it is that it gives you the anatomy and then it gives you the physiology of the organs that you've studied in the system and then the last part they do is they introduce you a little bit to some illnesses and conditions so it's a one in all kind of a book you know you get to see the anatomy then after reading the anatomy part of it, you get to see how the physiology works around the organs that you've studied in terms of anatomic approach. And then finalizing it gives you some touch on the diseases, you know, management, a few ways of how the pathophysiology of it looks like. So this is a book that has all the three basic terminologies. It has anatomy, it has physiology, and it has pathophysiology. I've tried to research and the latest um, edition is the 12th edition. I don't know if there's a new edition yet, but if there's either, please get the updated one at any given time. So if you're in certain different regions, you may find other books looking like this, looking like the first picture here. Uh, others might find looking like the second picture. There's no problem. These are just reflection of the different editions. But I can say if I was to write them, one is to five. Wow, I'll give this one um, a three. Not Okay, the second book is known as Essentials of Anatomy and Physiology. Oh my God, this book has a lot of notes. And it's written by Valerie and Tina Sanders. It's a nice book. I also loved it. And it's simple, but also does the same approach the way Rose and Wilson are doing it. The beauty of it also is that it has the anatomy, it introduces you first to the anatomy of the body, like they're discussing the breathing system, you know, they'll do for you the lungs, you know, the trachea, show you all the bronchus and so on. And then next now they will describe for you the physiology part, like how does it work? Very simple book. I love it though. Very simple. If you're really struggling with anatomy, this book is good for you. It does not, however, discuss for you the diseases. So this book does not contain pathophysiology. It only handles anatomy and the physiology part. So it's also a good book. So if I was to rate it, hmm, let's see. I'll give it also a 3.5. It's better than Rose and Wilson because it's more detailed, although it has a lot of notes, but it's more detailed and it explains things very simple, very elaborate, and their work is more well-researched. That's what I can say. So if you want more work, well elaborated, go for Essentials of Anatomy and Physiology by Valerie and Tina. So this is a 3.5. Not yet my favorite though, but it's a good book. I can recommend it for starters. Those who are starting to do anatomy classes, yeah, you can begin at Essentials of Anatomy and Physiology. So I can say it's a good book for beginners or those who are struggling to understand anatomy. It's a good book. The other book now, here we go. Human Anatomy and Physiology. I love the people who really do their extra miles and, and combine anatomy and physiology in the same book. So this guy is called Elaine and Katja. This book, 
I will recommend um I said I won't use favorite, but this one I'll recommend if you really, 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 really need to get anatomy well understood into your head. It's a very, very perfect book. The time I was, I was, I was starting my anatomy classes, this book really saved me big because I was struggling to understand simple things. So Human Anatomy and Physiology, it's a very good book. Very good book. If I was to read them, I won't give them a 5, but I'll give them a 4.5. Nice book, well elaborate. Well researched, better than the first two that I've discussed, but it's and it's also simple. I wish I could open it for you so that you can see the inside of the pages. But it's an awesome, awesome book. Sixth, seventh edition, I think, is the current edition now that they have. But you can also find these books in soft copies. So if you're the type you want to buy, you can buy them from Amazon, soft copy, and it's good because you can just carry them anywhere. If you get the physical one, they're very huge, so it's a bit tasky and walking around with big books. I mean, guys, we are in 2023. We do not need such baggage in our school bags. Just get a soft copy. It's good to go. But very nice book. Also handles anatomy, but bit, and then also has the physiology part. Very well highlighted book, this one. Oh, mm, my favorite. Grey's Anatomy for Students. Now, like the way the word says it, Grey's Anatomy, this book is purely for anatomy you will not find any physiology inside here there'll be no histology at all so what this book does it highlights anatomy purely so if you're looking at and it also uses a systemic approach by the way so because it uses systemic approach makes anatomy so easy i love books that use systemic approach because you don't need to struggle and try to see okay what is here you know because it's only dealing if it is the cardiovascular they will take you through cardiovascular system to the deepest parts so they will show you the heart and the muscles of the heart and the chambers and they have very nice diagram comes closely with chauresia for those who've done chauresia's work Choresha is also good, closely with, with our grays, but a grays uh, can say, if you are to compare them, Choresha is up here, and anatomy slightly below Choresha. But grays is a good one. Grays is also a good book. I recommend if you are a person who is passionate, passionate about anatomy, and wishes to understand it before you move to Choresha's level, I'll advise you to do grays anatomy. So this focuses purely on anatomy. Doesn't bring in physiology there. But it's a very good book if you want to get a bigger review or a bigger understanding of anatomy without combining physiology onto it. So which grade do we give this one? Hmm. We can give them also a 4.9. All right, it's a good one. <laughs> oh dear. Here we have our Ganong. So the next category I'm doing is books that handles physiology only, no anatomy inside there. Goes direct to do physiology only. So if you want to handle books or you want to read books that cut, uh, do anatomy, would do physiology purely, Ganong is a good book. But yo, it's a very, very detailed physiology book. I'll advise people, don't start with this book if you've not understood the basics in physiology. Get the basics first. Then go to do Ganong if you really, really want to get detailed work around physiology. This is a very, very researched book. Um, let me see, which is the current edition? They are doing the fifth, 25th edition currently. And I can salute to these authors. If I want to give up a rating, hmm, I'm giving these guys a five. Like, yo, they've done a good job. This book is awesome. So if you want to do physiology purely, you know, you have done your basics on physiology, you've gotten the basics of it, you don't want to expound further on physiology work, Ganong is a good book. This is a five, guys. This is a pure five out of five. And I'll finish with my, oh, Gaiton. Gaiton is a good book. But I find this is like this, the guy who wants to teach you, but he doesn't want to really make things look so hard for you. So this is a pure medical physiology book also, guys. And what Gaiton does, opposite to Ganon, Ganon, I, say, I feel like Savez is too harsh. Like he's just telling you, if you don't get it, you don't get it. This is what it is. Gaiton on the other side is like, I know this is hard for you, but I'm going to make it simple so that you like this physiology without struggling. It's a very friendly physiology book. This guy is so sweet in his, in his writings in the physiology. 
you know sometimes there are some physiology terms that are so hard for you to get in and this guy makes it look so simple like he takes you step by step doesn't complicate it doesn't make it look so hard for you so if i was to rate him between gaiton and ganong if i'm given two physiology books to pick and i'm told which one are you gonna read right now right now oh no no i'm going with gaiton ganong i'll meet you later but gaiton is my favorite right now so gaiton is my favorite when you're struggling with physiology and you're not getting the concept so if you want to get them clearly fast gaiton should be the first one you go to to help you you know give that small massage around physiology and make you feel nice you know before you go to the real professor of ganong so gaiton yeah this guy i'm giving him a six out of five yes this one is a six out of five nice guy nice writer nice book easy for all students to understand pure physiology here there's no anatomy guys this is physiology only so yeah these are the books i thought i should try to to review them so that guys you can try to understand and which book to pick first so that was it for the book review guys so if you've been struggling with which book to study on anatomy and physiology you can pick between those ones that are selected here for you or you can do any other that you feel is appropriate but again guys if you like this channel and what we are doing kindly just like it comment and get the link to share with your friends i mean more people might want to know which books to start on and don't forget to subscribe so that you can be the first to be notified when we bring in a new class so see you into the next class and thank you for keeping up up to the last session bye bye